We need to obtain the derivative of the infinite series given by y equals to sin x raised to the power of sin x, which is raised to the power of sin x, and this goes all the way up to infinity with respect to x. So let's begin. So a given infinite series can be also represented as y equals to, so here we have sin x, we can raise it to y, because y is actually given by this particular infinite series, so we can replace this entire exponent with y then let this be number one now what to do to in order to find out the derivative we'll have to first take the logarithm on both sides so that we can use the logarithmic differentiation and this is going to give us log of sine of x raised to the power of y so here we can use a property of logarithm that states that whenever we have log of a raised to the power of b now that's equals to b times log of a which means we now have log of y equals to y multiplied to log of sine x. We'll now take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. So we have derivative with respect to x of log of y. This will be equals to derivative with respect to x of y times log of sine x. Now we know that derivative of the logarithmic function. So whenever we have ddx of log x, so this is simply given by 1 over x. So that means derivative of log of y will be 1 over y. This, but since we have a y here instead of an x, so we'll need to use the chain rule. We'll multiply it to derivative of y with respect to x. So this will be equals to derivative with respect to x of y times log of sine x. So let's use the uh, product rule. So we have derivative of y with respect to x multiplied to log of sine x plus y multiplied to derivative with respect to x of log of sine x. Right. So this is now going to give us 1 over y times derivative of y with respect to x equals to, we have derivative of y with respect to x multiplied to log of sine x plus y times. So here we have to find our derivative of log of sine x. So we can use this particular formula that this will give us 1 over sine x. But since we have here sine x instead of an x, we can we have to use the chain rule and multiply it to derivative with respect to x of sine x. Such that we now have 1 over y times derivative of y with respect to x equals to, uh, we can transpose this uh, term to the uh, left hand side. So this will be negative derivative of y with respect to x times log of sine x equals to, so here we have y divided by sine x and derivative of the sine function this is the cosine function so we'll have cosine of x which gives us 1 over y minus log of sine x all multiplied to derivative of y with respect to x this will be equals to y times because we have cosine over sine which is uh, which ratio is the actually the cotangent function now therefore we can isolate derivative of y with respect to x this is going to give us y times cotangent of x divided by 1 over y minus log of sine x. Now we can divide both numerator and the denominator with y such that we now have derivative of y with respect to x given by we have y squared times cotangent of x whole thing divided by 1 minus y times log of sine x. So this is the derivative of the infinite series y with respect to x.